there once was a young boy named Walter Peterson. Walter, just like any other young boy, experienced many life-changing events throughout the years that made him who he was. The first life-changing event was falling in love for the first time. Okay, class, welcome to your first day of kindergarten. My name is Mrs. Honeysuckle, and, oh, yes, Walter, you have a question? Mrs. Honeysuckle, I got you an apple. Oh, um, no thank you, Walter. The second life-changing event occurred a year later on the bus when he met his best friend. My name is Scotty. Oh, um, hi Scotty. My name is Walter. Walter? <laughs> um, 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 do you, uh, do you like Oreos? Um, sure, I guess. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> uh, um, Walter? Yeah? Uh, do you want to be my friend? Um, <laughs> Uh, sure, I guess. Yes! So Walter and Scotty became the best of friends and went all the way through elementary school together and into middle school, where Walter was forever changed when he discovered his largest fear, middle school girls. Wow, this school building is so huge. Ha! Oh, uh... Uh, uh, hi. Uh... Do you want to kiss me? Uh, what? Do ya want to kiss me? No, why would you even ask that? You want to kiss me? I'm going to get my 8th grader boyfriend to beat you up. I don't like middle school very much. So Walter spent the next three years of his life doing the best he could to avoid all middle school girls. When he finally made it to high school, he was changed once again when he discovered what it was like to utterly fail. Okay, here we are, Scotty. It's our first day of high school, and that's why we're here at the basketball tryouts. I, I figure that we have about two weeks to set ourselves up as popular. And also, if we make varsity, I think that will outweigh my moderate acne problem and your... <laughs> well, your everything. Um, are you ready, Scotty? Let's do this. Okay. Oh, here comes Coach Roberts. All right, Roberts. Line up, line up. Okay. This here is basketball. It requires heart, commitment, and a whole lot of good read. Now, if you want to be successful in this sport, you got to have to have the right reasons to be here. If you don't have the right reasons, you're gonna get flattened like a Dixie cup being run over by a semi. You... <laughs> yes? What's your reasons for being here? <laughs> for the love of the game? No. What's your real reasons? <laughs> to be popular. Let me and Walter, we just wanted to be popular. Don't deflatten us. Well, it looks like I found me a couple of dicks of cups, and I'm a semi. Hong Kong. Okay, okay, we quit. Yes, Walter experienced many life-changing events throughout the years. But the largest life-changing event didn't occur until he made his way to church and prayed for the first time. Hello, God. <laughs> it's, um, it's me, Walter Peterson. I, I, I bet you probably already knew that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I know it's been a, a while since I, I last went to church and I prayed. Okay, it's uh, been forever. <laughs> I guess lately I've just been feeling empty. <laughs> That's um, why well, I decided to go to church. The, um, the preacher guy, he, he talked about your love for us. He said that you loved us 
so much that you sent your son to die for us. You know, I, I guess I never really understood that. <laughs> you know, I always just imagined you as this big, almighty being that, that, that just wanted to punish us. I didn't realize that you, that you loved us. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I want you. I want, I want to live for you. Walter would go on and experience many more life-changing events, like meeting more friends and falling in love for the, the second time. But no matter how much an event changed him, Walter knew that when God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross, it changed everything. 